that thing's starting to look pretty sexy. What a difference, huh? Just out running an errand. And now I just got a couple things. I don't have to put stuff in my jacket like a jar of pickles. Put it in my top box. Good to go. Let's roll. Now that the 400's running right, uh, I'm gonna work on stage two of the build, which will be more comfort and convenience. It's gonna be set up a lot like the 250. It's already got a big long distance five gallon tank on it. I'm not gonna put in the effort to find a small tank. Might as well keep the big one, uh, even though I'm not that big of a fan. But I am gonna make it better suited for longer rides. Um, so first thing, more comfortable seat. All right, what have we here? This is the answer. Do not use blade. I don't think so. Just the tip. Oh, perfect. Just like the other one. That's going to be beautiful. All right, so when you're recovering a seat, um, obviously you got to get the old seat cover off first. This one's actually in really nice shape. Uh, it's a little dirty right there, but that'll wash off. Um, these XR seats actually are relatively comfortable compared to uh, modern bikes where it's really thin and it feels like you're sitting on a friggin' 2x4. These aren't too bad, but the seat concept seat just is like night and day with any of them. So that's what I went with. So it's a little tedious, you gotta take all the staples out. This gun shoots staples that aren't quite this wide, but they're wide enough to grip the fabric. You just wanna be careful, you wanna test it on the old fabric first and make sure um, the air pressure you're running at and the stables you're using aren't gonna blow through the fabric because um, then you'll just take the cover off as you're riding with the wear with your butt. So I'm gonna test these staples. All right, so you can see the first one, that's a fail. Um, I didn't have the gun all the way down to the fabric, uh, but I think the pressure is about right. I'm running 50 right now. So let's get this old one off and we'll see how it goes. All right, staples are out. Let's see how it looks. Too bad. Kept the old foam mostly intact. Small tear right there, but I don't know if I'll keep. I probably won't keep it anyway. I'm just gonna go around and clean up the pan. Probably wipe it down with acetone. Try to get as much of this old glue off as I can. All right. So now I want to make sure the new foam fits on there nicely. Now I gotta find some contact adhesive. First, I'm going to get the front. Okay, now we switch to the back. Okay, I'm going to get these corners. I'm 
just going to work it around. When you get to the corners, you want to cut up the seam a little bit with a razor, like that. That way there isn't too much material bunched up. And then, get it down. And there you have it. I think that'll do nicely. All right, Seat Concepts Wide Comfort Seat is on. That's gonna be so much better, I'm pumped. Next thing in the comfort stage is gonna be get rid of these old waffle grips, put on some pillow tops, get rid of these stupid old original pegs that'll bend the first rock they hit, put something on wider, um, that'll give me a better platform to stand on. I'm gonna put on some hand guards, not these, get rid of these flags. Put on some full wrap hand guards. Um, that'll keep my hands, keep the wind off them on the road and keep the branches off them on the trail. And lastly, I have a rack to go here and a top box to mount so that I can carry a couple small things with me without um, putting too much weight on my back. It's gonna be set up the same as the XR250R. Now the rideability and legality streetability is done. Comfort's going to be done soon. Uh, stage three of the build will be performance. All right, so I got these pro taper pillow tops, but uh, bar and hand guards require cutting the tips off. So I'm just gonna try and keep it nice and clean. Little pro tip, these are tough to get on uh, the bars, but a little alcohol, uh, rubbing alcohol in there, isopropanol, help them slide right on. Look at the spread in the clutch perch there. Looks like this bike went down pretty hard at one time. I'm gonna have to close that up. Clutch perch just broke. That sucks. Have to order a new one. When I tried to squeeze it back together, it cracked it and then tightening that bolt just broke it right off. Concept seat, keep my butt happy. I got some IMS super stock foot pegs, keep my feet happy. Pillow top grips, keep my hands happy, as well as some uh, new hand guards. Double take mirror, this probably should have been part of the streetability episode, but oh well, I forgot to put it on. Got my RAM mount so I can hold my phone or my drone controller. Uh, bar risers, so the bike will fit me a little bit better. So the last thing I'm gonna do for comfort is put the rack on here right here and uh, mount a top box to it 
we'll be good to go. I mounted a new top box, waterproof. It's not a Pelican, but whatever. It does lock, which is kind of cool. I mounted that to the rack last night. These are called Adel clamps. It's just a rubber cushioned uh, aluminum strap clamp. Uh, they're they're decent. I've broken a couple off-roading on the 250R. That's how the box is held onto the rack on that bike too. Um, but you just get home. These are super cheap. Just replace one. No problem. All right, I'm going to mount this up. All right. Well, I got the top case on finally. It took quite a bit of tinkering. Um, this rack kind of poorly designed. I'm not going to lie. These bolts, I had to space way out. They came with spacers, but they weren't long enough. And then there's two bolts that hold it to the fender right here. They were the wrong size. And then they didn't send spacers because this has to be spaced off of the fender. Anyway, it was all messed up. I went through some struggles with trying different things and everything, but it's on. Got my top box. So right now it's full of foam, which this will be cool. I could pick this apart and uh, make things for where my cameras to go, um, little foam inserts. Uh, or I can take the foam out and stick some food or whatever in there. Cool. All right. Now that my case is on, the last comfort sparkle I want on there is some enduro bags here. And that's what I got. Straight from Rocky Mountain. Sweet new tusk bags. So let's see if we can get those on there to fit right. All right, so pretty much how they'll sit. Anyway, I had to run out and pick a couple things up from the grocery store. Just running a quick errand. I can already feel such a difference in the comfort level with this thing. The grips are nice. The seat is fantastic. The pegs are big and wide. And she's running pretty smooth. Got my new clutch perch on there. Moved up the cables. Feels pretty good. And the mirror, the mirror's pretty solid and steady and I can see who's behind me. So yeah, that uh, cable louver makes that cable feel nice and smooth. When a cable gets old and gets plenty of dirt in it, you can feel it like sticking, like you go to pull the clutch in, even though it's a little tiny pull, you can feel it going. Not anymore.